All across Finland, things are as they once were. The transit is operating normally. Beer and sausages are being sold. Young, slightly drunken Finnish children are playing and completely destroying the, uh, the soccer goal area there. All this thanks to the return of one man. Drunk Man is back. But what of our ex finnish cop that made all this happen? Back at his mansion, sulking in solitude, he suddenly receives a glorious phone call. And thus we find ourselves back at the residence of the elusive Greg Paul, where his days as a law enforcement officer might not yet be over. Ugh, let me tell you boys something. I think we did pretty good. I haven't seen Drunk Man yet, but I definitely feel a disturbance in the force. I feel the kill you is strong on this day, but I don't know for sure. I, uh, I, I haven't seen anything to do on the news with the uh, beer sales or anything like that. And I have, oh, hold on. In our, in the midst of our, of our quenching of thirst. How do I get out of this friggin' pool? In the, in the midst of quenching our thirst, I hear a, I hear a phone call over here. Let's go see who it might be. Uh, yes, hello, this is Greg Paul, friend of Satana. How can I help you? Greg Paul, this is the Finnish police department. Uh-huh. Drunk man has returned to us and thus we are oh. giving you your Finnish police powers back. Oh, that's great news. You'll find your police motorcycle out in front of the house along with some extra special upgrades. Really? May Satana be with you. Well, listen up. I won't let you guys down this time. I swear, I'll protect the, the sanctity and fertility of Finland. You guys, you, you won't even, you won't even know. You'll, well, you'll know. Yeah. Okay, so we've been rehired onto the Finnish police department. This is amazing. All right, they've given us back our police motorcycle. Now, supposedly, oh, right out here. Yeah, they must have shipped it in the mail with, uh, with Spamazon, sausages on or whatever over here. You can see it. Oh, we got our gun back too. Yes. Now we're going to get the opportunity to, to get that age old question answered. Which is, can you do a drive-by on the Jonas? Now, supposedly, they did a little something extra here with the Jonas. I'm very curious to see exactly what it might be. Let's, uh, let's give it a little turn on over here. Flip the old switch. And I still need to find the van. The van is still somewhere in, in the stratosphere. I legit don't know where it is. I found the crap tanker. Uh, you guys are never gonna guess where the crap tanker is. It's out in the middle of the lake. I don't remember how it got out there. I really have no idea. I think it probably got blown out there when we used the dynamite over at the, uh, over at the dance. I, 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 I'm legitimately not certain. Okay, so let's see. Can I start this while I'm wielding the gun? Okay. So you can. Uh, what the hell? Oh my god. Oh, holy shit. Oh god! All right. Well, it looks like they looks like they replaced the original engine of the Jonas. Oh, it it idles. I'm not even pressing the gas right now. This thing is just idling at 15 kilometers per hour. Hold on. Let's. I'm gonna move into another gear. Oh my god. Oh, they've given it like a supercharger or something. Holy crap! We're going. We're going 65 kilometers per hour. In second gear. We're going 75 kilometers. Oh Jesus! Oh, we're gonna die. We're gonna die on this thing. Oh, it's incredible. We may have to check out the jumps. But, uh, hold on here now. The jumps have changed, too. I think that you can, like, get all the way up them without having to jank yourself up there. Let me, let me see if I can get this thing started again. Um, maybe we should just start in, like, third gear. Oh, God. Okay, third gear. How fast? We're gonna- we're, we are- there's no way in hell that we're gonna survive this. How fast does this thing legitimately go now? All right, 40 kilometers, 50, 60, 70, and we're only in third gear. Oh, mother of Jesus. Okay, now we're in fourth gear. We are way past 75 kilometers per hour. There's your gun, your, your floating poltergeist gun going down the roadway. Oh, it's incredible. Oh, Finnish police department, how can I ever thank you for this? If we drop this thing, I don't even want to know what's going to happen. I don't think we've topped out yet. Woo! Oh, that. Woo! <laughs> oh, God. All right. So, uh, number one plan right now. Let's go get some bullets. 
Someone had said now this thing acts like an appropriate moped in Finland. What the hell kind of mopeds do you guys have in Finland? What moped on this universe goes like 90 miles per hour? Because we went right past 75 kilometers per hour in third gear. This thing has to be going like 120 kilometers per hour. Oh, I wonder if we can, what the? What sort of, what sort of ritualistic behavior is going on over here? Oh, you know what? We can take care of this. Hold on, let me uh, get up off of here. We need to grab some bullets right quick though. Tamo! Tamo, hey buddy, listen. Yeah, I, I know you want to get some additional upgrades over here to this place. I just need some bullets from you though. There we go. Excellent, yes. My summer car, demonetization edition. Go! There we go. There's one scumbag down. Where's the other one at? Ow. Oh, the gun moves in the third person. Look at it, wave it back and forth. This is, this is like haunting. Like, this is worse than Christine. Oh, here he is. All right, scumbag. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, crap, crap. He's getting away. We got to get him. Unfortunately, to start the bike, I have to shoot at the uh, the Kickstarter, but you know how it goes. All right, here we go. All right, we're going to try and do this at maximum speed. Hold on. Let me let me get hidden this way a little bit. And we'll try and we'll try and bring bring peace and solitude back to Finland real quick. Oh! He's getting away. But there's no way that he's getting away from this friggin' moped. Oh, it's the police chase of the century. Here we go. Status D versus Greg Paul on the 4,000 horsepower moped. Off on the roadway. Now, he is pretty fast, so I don't know if we're going to legitimately be able to catch him, but I'm going to give it a hell of a shot. We wanted to see how fast this thing could go. We're about to... Damn it! All right, he's got a big head start on us, but we're going... Oh, hey, watch, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Oh, <laughs> Only in Finland. I was gonna say, can I catch up to normal traffic? The answer is yes, especially when they try and kill one another. Oh, the speed is real. I can hear the sound of the the wind blowing past my ears. Now, the only issue is stuff like this. Like if we take this turn at this speed, we're gonna die. And we're gonna be picking fricking pavement out of our anuses for the next 25 years. All right, don't lean too far, don't lean too far. We can kind of rock it in there. There we go. No! Not the rain! Not while I'm on the moped with my gun out! This is terrible! This, this is, this is a deadly combination. Only other thing that we need now is the friggin' moose to come out of nowhere. I saw in the comments someone was like, Gray, the plural to moose is Mises. What is this? Like, Rocky and Bullwinkle? Can't remember the last time I heard that word. It must be like something like 1980s cartoons. Like a Tom and Jerry, wait a second, do Tom and Jerry actually speak? I just thought about that. Tom and Jerry were silent, weren't they? <laughs> Crap. I let the Finnish police department down. Status D got away. We're gonna have to go back to Tamo's anyway. Because again, in order to start this thing, it takes about uh, three bullets. Three bullets to start the moment. <laughs> because I have to shoot at the Kickstarter every time I kick it. That's all right though, I have a plan. Just wait until you guys see this. This should be this should be perfect. It should make for a uh, you know one of your one of your Grand Theft Auto shots over here. It should make for a, a fantastic Grand Theft Auto shot if what I have in mind actually works. So obviously the uh, the super upgraded, ridiculous, you know, Power Thirst 9000 uh, moped here is a mod. I'm gonna have a link in the description if you guys want to get the opportunity to see this particular mod. But uh, I think it said that the RPMs on this thing gets up to 14,500. So I don't know what the top speed is, but it's really high. We're probably gonna have to get more gas for this thing too. If the RPMs are super high, doesn't that mean that it's like burning through gas super fast? I would imagine it would because the engine's working overtime over here. So yeah, let's head back to Tamo's. If we can find status D, what the hell happened over here? If we can find status D, we'll take him out. Wait, is that him? There he is! I don't know if we got him or not. We're out of bullets. I think I still he I still hear his car going. So I don't think we hit him. To think we would have tracked him all the way back over to Tamo's. Back where it all began. We're out of bullets. Hey Tamo. Yep, Koto Spade. What's going on, buddy? Nothing nothing unusual happening here. Oh, can I buy these or am I allowed to 
Where the hell did they all go? Are they through the through the ground or? Oh, they're laying on the ground over here. Yeah, yeah. Let's do some of that. There we go. Special. Oh, status D. Where are you, my good buddy? Where's that thumped up music? I hear it. I feel like Michael Myers or something, just slowly patrolling the neighborhood, looking for young teenagers to skin. I don't know if he's a teen. Oh, here he is. Damn it! He stopped back over at Tybo's! Here we go! Here we go. Yes! Ah, my good man. Guess what? I'm gonna use you to see if I can put a body on the, uh, on the bike over here. Now, you need a few things in order to get this done, okay? First things first. You need to get on the bike. You need to start the bike up. All right, now we put the body right about here like this. All that, all that working out, all the finished uh, kettlebells and stuff like that, all the all the, the ollie weights and stuff we've been moving around has really helped out a lot. Okay, now this should look pretty good. Let's take a look here what this looks like. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks natural. Right there. See that? Hold on, let me, let me get down the roadway a little bit more here. There we go. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> it's going like up his rectum the uh the friggin oh oh, 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 oh it's a little it's a little weird to drive like this because it's like extra messed up weight on here the uh the handlebars are kind of going up his uh his poop hole there but other than that I think this looks pretty good I think topless gun right here you can add this uh right to the game this is a uh, this is an animation for new character types now we can have people on motorcycles going throughout Finland I think if you just take this just rip it right from the video and put it right inside the game it looks looks pretty much appropriate it looks like what you'd find in my summer car what do you guys think now I think that the, the next biggest order of business here is gonna be to clear a jump with this so uh, we're gonna have to give that a shot am I off the road okay now we're still we're still good we're still good yeah just went to the store and uh, picked up a, uh, a wild status D Thought I'd bring it home and uh, cook it on up. It's what it looks like. It looks like he's in the basket. Like there's like a front basket to this thing. And we're just holding him like this. Now it's kind of like we got a torture session going on. I think his head is caught underneath the wheel. Where are they, Status D? Where are they? Oh, Jesus. Yep, right this way, Status D. Right down the roadway over here. Perfect. Yep, you, you dance a jig just like that. Yep, put your hands behind your back. It's like he's under arrest. See, we did it. We finally arrested him. He knows. He knows what time it is. We're gonna, oh man, this is this is fantastic. The, the Finnish police are gonna love us. All right, so now all we have to do is take our, uh, take our catch over here. See, I couldn't catch a moose, but I could catch a status D. We're gonna bring him up the field, and we're gonna go and hit the jumps. Does anyone happen to know what which dance this is? I'm not really sure which. <laughs> Crap. Do, 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 do. Now we just have to go up the uh, 10,000 steps of Tibet over here. It's Finnish Tibet. Slightly, slightly different than normal Tibet, and just in that it's, I don't know, it, it's got a slight scent of sausage. That would be cool if there was a little tree, but it was like a sausage scented little tree, instead of the, the pine cone scent. Oh my god, how many steps? <laughs> I've been going up these things for like a minute. I have to cut most of it out, but I had no idea. I know it's really high, but I forgot how high it is. Alright, here's the plan. I've got the seat. Remember the seat that we were using for a ramp? I've got the old seat over here. I want to see if we can get to the water. That's my goal. My goal is to jump this thing so far that we go into the lake. I really don't know if we could do this, but I'm going to give it a shot. All right. Here we go. Here we go. I missed. All right. I lost status D. Like I legit lost him. He went off into the stratosphere somewhere. All right. Let me. Th Damn it. I got it. If I could get this thing like maybe in a third gear. There, like right here. Okay, now let's start straighten it up, straighten it up, straighten it up, straighten it up. Okay, go. Ah, I missed again. Okay, I think I've got it this time. If I stick to the wall, it looks like we stay against that wall the whole way down. So this should work. Here we go. All right, baby. Come on. All right, third gear. Here we go. What the hell? How come it's in the middle now? What a bunch of crap. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it! There it is! No, we're not gonna make it! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Whatever! It was worth a shot! Did we get vaulted into the stratosphere? I think we just got vaulted into the stratosphere. That's all I wanted, though. I just wanted to try- 
Oh. We, we flew so far, we don't even get death music. I don't think I've ever had this happen before. Anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode of My Summer Car, where we finally took the moped into space. The moped it doesn't even exist anymore. Look at, like, the area where our death picture is. It's not there. We're so far out of the planet Earth that we can't hear the death music. And we had the opportunity to show what, a, what an appropriate animation would look like for someone in my summer car riding a motorcycle that goes like 150 kilometers per hour. Anyway, guys, with our, uh, our vast sums of limitless money gone, we are going to have to sell, kill you once more to Drunk Man who is present at his table as always. And if you want to make the YouTube machine happy, feel free to uh, unleash the old RPM counter on the like button. Until next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.